Unveiling the gory details, a dive into English idioms. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind the phrase, gory details. Whether you're a beginner or looking to polish your English skills, understanding idioms like this one is key to sounding like a native speaker. Let's get started. Gory details refers to the explicit, often unpleasant, and very detailed description of an event. The word gory is typically associated with graphic violence in movies or literature, but when used in this phrase, it doesn't always relate to physical violence. It's about providing more information than what is necessary or comfortable. And it can be about any topic, not just violent ones. You might use or hear gory details in casual conversation, storytelling, or when someone is giving an account of an event. For example, if someone just got back from a medical procedure, they might spare you the gory details of their experience. It's also common to hear someone say, please, don't give me the gory details, which means they prefer not to hear about the unpleasant or intricate aspects of a story. Let's look at some sentences. After the boxing match, he started telling me about his injuries, but I asked him to skip the gory details. The news report provided all the gory details of the political scandal. These examples show how the phrase can be used in different contexts. Sometimes, people might misunderstand the term and think it only pertains to violence. Remember, it's about overly detailed information that's usually uncomfortable. It's always good to clarify if you're unsure how someone might interpret your words, especially in a learning or professional environment. I hope this video has shed light on the idiom, gory details, and how you can use it effectively in your conversations. Remember, idioms can add color to your language and help you sound more fluent. So go ahead, share this new phrase with friends, but maybe spare them the gory details of how you learned it. Until next time, happy learning!